wa Mbogo na Mwisho Hanson Ganga pamoja pia na Reverend Lucy pia the bishop wa Bwana amekuwa kituongoza Mike Karioki na all the entire clergy na asanteni sana kwa kutuongoza from the morning our political leaders pia hapa tuko na our former vice president His Excellency Karonzo Musioka our governor and my brother Ya pili pia 
tumeweza kuona ya kuwa by inflation katika nchi kama US na UK inaenda chini na inflation ikienda chini pale tunapata ile inaitwa remittances remittances ikiongezeka kwa wakenya ambao wako pale nje nikienda kumaliza hawa wana biashara walikuja ofisi yangu bisho na kuna jambo niliwaeleza nataka nirudie tukiwa wote tukiangalia katika ile maneno tunafanya ya kupanga uchumi iko zile uchumi tunaangalia kama our role models ya kwanza ni nchi ambayo inaitwa South Korea South Korea from 1960 ilipata kiongozi alikuwa anaitwa General Park na wao wakashika maneno ya government policy wakaitekeneza ya kufepa wanabiashara na wakatekeneza policies zinaikuwa zinaitwa export led economy na hizo zilikuwa za kupromote wanabiashara kama hawa wako hapa kampuni kama Samsung ambayo mimi natumia simu yake ilikuwa kampuni ya kuuza dry fish kampuni kama Hyundai ilikuwa inatekeneza bicycle bicycle na serikali ikawashika mkono even using government resources and those are the companies that we now see ambazo ziko katika ulimwengu wote walitekeneza kampuni zinaitwa Tigers ambazo serikali deliberately inashika kama ni muuzaji kwa kitu kama wires hapa serikali inasaidia hiyo kampuni inakuwa manufacturer inauza hapa Kenya inauza nchi jirani inauza ulimwengu wote and i am sure we are headed there the second country ni kampuni ya China China uki kama ukienda huko before 1978 Ukekopesha mtu wa China pesa kama mkenya. Ukefika pale Beijing, mtu wa China anakupigia saluti. Lakini walianzisha maneno ya uchumi wakaadha mtu wa China yule mwanabiashara. Wakaweza kuweka policies, wakakuza uchumi ya China and I am sure the kind of policies tunaweka tunaegemea hapo. Ya mwisho, na hapa unisikiza vizuri wanabiashara. Unisikiza vizuri. Hawa wanabiashara viongozi wenu waliniomba ya kwamba wanataka bridge ya nini kama wanabiashara wanyama kema na the entire Nairobi the bridge between yourselves and the government na mimi niliwaambia hivi mimi kama dende nyoro agarau mimi sikuwa nimefika ile wa yenu nilitisomesha high school na maneno ya kuuza mtumba pale Dika kwa hivyo niliwaambia maneno ya kutafuta bridge ya nini na government mimi nimetiofa na nitafanya kazi yetu kupitisha mapato ya serikali. Nitaomba wanabiashara wote ambao wako na viongozi hapa tupange kikao na rais wa Kenya. Ndio mueleze maneno ambayo nilielezo na viongozi wenu. Ya kwanza kuna tatizo ya KRA. Ya pili kuna tatizo ya counterfeit authority. Hiyo maneno lazima tuwaokee vizuri kwa sababu tunataka hawa wanabiashara waendelee na kupata nafuu kwa biashara zao. Na mkifanya hayo, this is my last point. I want to take you to one country to Malaysia. Na wanabiashara mnisikize. Tunasoma katika magazine inaitwa Forbes. Ya kwamba one of the richest people in Africa ni mtu anaitwa Aliko Dangote. Kuna mwingine anaitwa Abswama Rabiu wa kule Nigeria. Hawa walianza kama importers. Dakote started as an importer of rice, as an importer kwa bidhaa kama zile tunafanya hapa kwa wana hawa wanabiashara. Rabiu pia alianza kama mwanabiashara wa imports, kuleta bidhaa kama trader. Na serikali ikawashika mkono na wakaelezana ya kwamba yes import iko na faida. Na that is the reason why watu wanaleta bidhaa badala ya kutengeneza hapa. One of the reason nataka tuende na wana nyamakema na the entire Nairobi tukaone rais wetu. Mimi niko na upi moja. Kama wewe ni mwanabiashara unauza bidhaa fulani. Ni vizuri tueleze serikali from the apex ya kwamba if you are facilitated na vitu kadhaa ama kadhaa utaacha hata kuzileta you manufacture inside the country you, you employ Kenyans and you, you get even much more profit hao watu ambao nimetaja kama huyo Dakote alienda aka increase akaweka maneno ya kumanufacture sukari mwenyewe akaenda akaweka kumanufacture cement and you know the profit of a businessman sio faida yake 
profit of a businessman is a common good and utility. Kwa sababu wewe kama mwanabiashara hata ukipata bilioni moja you can only consume too little. Kwa hivyo hiyo pesa ingine unapata kama capital inasaidia nchi sana kuliko vile inakusaidia. Na that is why tuliona Dakote aliweka sadaka ya cement sasa anaweka the biggest refinery in Africa maneno ya oil. I can see here at Bishop even these traders some of the importers becoming manufacturers in the Republic of Kenya. kema mtu apaye ana deal na textiles yeye ameweza kutengeneza textile yake hapa Kenya anauza Kenya anauza nchi jirani hata anauza ngambo and that is what we wish you we wish you all the best and may God bless you all